Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to explain you how to solve a Sudoku puzzle. If you want to solve a Sudoku puzzle, you should know that all the numbers in, in, in this line only will be there one time. So 1 to 9 will only be there in one line or one box. Like you can see, there is a 1, 4 and 8 missing in this box. Like you can see, there's an 8 already in this book, so there cannot be an 8 here. There's here, 8. There cannot be in here, so we go for the 8 here. And then we filled in our 8 here, and we go to the 8. You see the 8 here, and then we have an 8 here. And we go for another number. We can check out the sixes, for example. We have a six here, or a seven here. We get a seven here. You follow the line here. You see a seven here. Put it in here. Same for this one. You follow the line. There cannot be a seven in there, so the seven should be in here. And this is basically how you fill in every Sudoku. But some Sudokus are harder than others because some uh, combi combine the two sud Sudokus uh, uh, together with the one box uh, in common. So that's, that's also a possibility. And you also have uh, all numbers that uh, are filled in or not filled in that can make a Sudoku easier or harder. <clears throat> there we got two eight here. Here we got an eight. Here's the eight and here's the eight. So the eight should be there. Here we got another 8, here an 8, you have to fill it in here, 1, 4, five, two. got two sevens here, so the seven should be here. And there we go, we go six, six, eight, seven, one. We have two here, six, six, eight, three, one, two, seven, nine. Just telling you what numbers there are. There are two sevens here. So the seven should be here. One for nine. We got two fives here. So the, this five cannot be here. This five cannot be here. And this five cannot be here. So we get another five filled in. Now we got three gaps left, so we have to fill in a, a one, a four, and a, a nine. And we got a four here. We got a nine here, and a nine here, so the nine should be here. And then we got a four and a one that should be filled in in the left positions. We got a nine here. I'm going to check out a 9, we got a 7, 8, 2, this is basically how you fill in the rules Sudoku, you are 
always looking for the, the gaps that are in the puzzle. Like if, if you can see these two, two ones here, you can see that if you follow these lines, the one can be on this position or on this position. And here we got, for example, the six cannot be here, cannot be here. Here we got a six, and then we got to fill in the six here. And now we have three remaining gaps. So we have we have the five, the four, the five, the nine, and the one that still have to be filled in. We got a five here, so it cannot be in here. We got a one here, so it cannot be in this box. We got a nine here. Get to see that we find out that there is a nine in here because there are two nines up, up here. And then we go further and we see the five here and the one here. The two fives here. Got a five here. We got no fives in here filled in. But you know that the 5 should be in one of these three positions. This means that you can swipe away this because you know the 5 should be in one of these three positions. So in this, this, two, uh, this line there are two 5's, so the 5 should be in here. Even though you don't know that in which position the 5 is, it still means there is no 5 in this part. <clears throat> and then we have to fill in the one, two, four or three in this line. So we have the one here. We got to see. We got six here. We got seven, five, eight. We got one or four, we got seven, we got eight, six, six, one. I basically hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you will be able to try one of these Sudokus at Sudokus Revenue. And then you go to write a puzzle for yourself, try to solve it, you can even print it here. And I think if you know that you only have to, uh, only can use the number once in a box or once in a line, that you should be able to solve this puzzle. Here we got a nine, a seven, a one. We got the eight here.